welcome to part two of my Christmas beauty gift guide series. Part one was all gifts under £25 and if you missed that I will link that up here and link it up below as well for you to check out. But today it's all about, I don't want to say like blowout luxury because nothing here is outrageous but it's just stuff that doesn't fit into the uh, under £25 price bracket. And I tried to break things down into like the one who likes to work out, the one who's a beauty beginner, the one who loves bathing, <laughs> sort of different categories. So it's just a little bit easier to digest and if you're not into beauty videos and you don't normally watch these, say you're just a boyfriend trying to find something good for their girlfriend, plus that boyfriend points to you, everything is linked up below so you can just have a look at that of my top 10 kind of luxury beauty recommendations. So the first gift I have is one for someone who never treats themselves but they should and they should definitely do it using this this is from therapy this is a brand that I love you know I'm obsessed with their Himalayan detox sorts obsessed I'm so sad that we haven't got a bath at the moment that we can use I really miss using them but inside here you get the Himalayan detox sorts just like a mini kind of travel version you also get the boost hair and body wash you used that before it's a really nice shower gel the cherish skin repair serum haven't given that a go before the equilibrium bath and shower essence I feel like I've tried that it's very nice and also the Restore Aura Spray. So you get a load of stuff in here, it's really good value compared to buying everything on its own alone. The next gift I've got is one that I would recommend for beauty beginners, so if you know someone who's maybe just a teenager and who's starting out with makeup, or maybe someone who's a little bit older but just has never experimented with like brushes before and needs a bit of help starting them off, I love this kit. This is from Sigma and this is their Mr. Bunny Travel Kit. Professional brush collection and inside you get pencil brush, a tapered blending brush, eye shading, small angled large powder, large angled contour and foundations. That is a lot of brushes and that's basically every brush you need for kind of an everyday face and because they are slightly shorter than normal they're also perfect for travel so if you know someone who travels around a lot and could just sort of throw these in a suitcase so they're just ready to go that would be really good. They're cruelty free, all ridiculously soft and they wash up really well as well. Now if you've got someone in your life who loves blusher then they need this palette. This is the NARS Stephen Klein One Shocking Moment palette. Oh my word, I'm sure you've seen this go around the beauty bloggers world, everyone's going crazy for it. Inside you get four blushes, one highlight, one contour and also a bronzer as well. So basically everything that you need for cheeks is stuffed into here. The quality of these is amazing. It looks incredible, it's just like a nice kind of collector's piece of makeup. So if you know someone who sort of collects limited edition makeup then they're going to want to see this under the tree. But I just feel like this is a really good all rounder. It's available from Space NK online. Now if you know someone who's always having baths then I'm sure they will appreciate this gift. This is from Aromatherapy Associates and this is their ultimate bath jewels. Even just the smell from the box is incredible. Now I'm giving this to my grandma and granddad. I gave them something similar last year from Aromatherapy Associates and they loved it. My grandma has been using the same Avon bath oil for practically her whole life, got her into these and now she's like, Anna, where can I get them from? How much are they? I, I need them in my life. They are obsessed with them and bless them. They made the really tiny set, I think last about six or seven months. This set is much bigger. The bottles you get inside it are nine mil each, so you're getting a really, really decent amount of product here because there's ten in the whole set. So I have a feeling my grandma and granddad will probably make these last a whole year but there's everything in there and I think my favourite one is the support lavender and mint. I just love that one. So a very luxurious gift. I think it's one of the most expensive out of the pack but probably one of my favourites. Going back to friends and family members that travel a lot, this is also a really good pack. This is the Ren Grab and Go kit and in here you have everything from hair care, body care, skin care, it is all in there and actually you could kind of get away with just using this if you're going for a weekend away. In here you've got a lip balm, a moisturiser, body cream, body wash, an eye cream, conditioner shampoo and a cleanser. It's more like the backbone of a routine I guess for more skincare but you definitely could get away with just using this for a few days. Everything is under the allowance that you're allowed to take on a plane so everything is under 100 mils and it does say on the back this kit contains an airport security recommended bag 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres so it's basically good to go. <laughs> Grab and go kit. Well named. When I saw this kit in Boots, my heart had like one of those pounding moments. I think this is absolutely beautiful and I haven't seen a kit like this before. If you know someone who is into nail polish, they're a bit of a polish fanatic, then they're gonna really love this. It's from Essie and it's their All I Want For Christmas kit. 
side you get Fiji, cocktail bling, fishnet stockings, licorice and Bahama Mama. So you get a bit of everything. You get a nude, you get a colour, you get a red, you get a burgundy, you get like a... Is it black? I love a bit of Estee. I think the brushes are great, I think they paint on really well. And I have a feeling that this kit was better value than buying them all separately as well. I think it ends up that you get about one free, so good deal. Now I'm sure this item will be cropping up in a lot of Christmas beauty gift guides, but I feel like this is just the product for the person who says they want this product. They've just put it on their Christmas list anyway and they haven't stopped going on about it and they keep like leaving the tab open for you to like really take the hint and they've written down where you can get it and how much it is and practically just sent you <laughs> the link. And it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. Gorgeous name, gorgeous palette. I have done a review on this, so I will link that up below. But inside you get three colours of their ambient lighting powder, two colours of their ambient lighting blush, and then one of their ambient lighting bronzers as well. So again, a bit like the NARS in that you get everything for cheeks kind of here in one. I personally think this is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't work out particularly great value for money at all, but it looks beautiful and I feel like if you're gifting this to someone or you're gifting yourself it, you can kind of semi-justify it. But like I said, review below if you want to see more about this one. For the friend or family member in your life that likes to work out, this kit from Neon is beautiful. It's a Neon Sweaty Betty collaboration and it is called the Power Your Personal Best Collection. And inside you get the Intensive Energy Boosting Treatment, you get a Mood Lifting On The Go Mist, ooh that sounds lovely, a Daily De-Stress Bath and Shower Oil and also the Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. So you just just get a bit of everything in here. It's beautifully packaged. It looks so adorable and neon products much like the therapy ones and the aromatherapy associates ones. Very luxury, very high quality, all smell incredible. If you've got a mate who likes eyeshadow or who's just getting into eyeshadow then I feel like the palette of the season is this from Becca and this is the Ombre Rouge eye palette. It's very neutral. It's practically all matte. Again I have a review on this so I will link that below if you'd like to see more in-depth pictures and see it on my face and stuff but it's a very good kind of starter palette but also a good palette for people who've already got a ton of palettes already because I feel like these are warm matte shades we could always do with more warm matte shades you can use it on your own you can pair it with other things that you've got it would pair really nicely with the Urban Decay Naked Original palette but it just looks very sleek very nicely presented and also really beautiful for me as well very buttery and blendable now my final recommendation would be for girls or guys who like to try new beauty brands. So if your friend or family member is into new things, these are new and they're beautiful and I'm obsessed with them and I've been going on about them so much. So also if they're a reader or viewer of my videos or blog, they might be interested in these too. They're from Smith & Colt and they're nail polishes and I love them. I feel like these are some of the nicest nail polish formulas I've used. They're actually pretty long lasting and my nails just chip awfully. The colours are beautiful, the names are lovely, like there's just something about this brand that I've completely bought into. And even though they're £19 a bottle, hence why I've put them on a Christmas list thing because I feel like that way it can suddenly be justified. But some colour recommendations, I really like Stockholm Syndrome which is like a grey kind of lilac-y shade. Dark Like Me is a really pretty berry purple and then what I've got on my nails today which is this like off mint almost like a khaki mint shade this is bitter buddhist and it's probably my favorite out of all the ones i've got so that concludes my Christmas gift guide series. Everything that I've mentioned will be linked up below along with a link to part one of this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a lovely, happy, safe Christmas. I'm very much looking forward to ours. We're having Christmas together for the first time in like seven years, me and Mark. And also we're cooking Christmas dinner. So that will be very fun. If anyone has any recommendations for how to do it without burning a turkey, I'm genuinely having nightmares about like trying to defrost a turkey with a hairdryer like the night before. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on Wednesday with a brand new one. Bye.